today's video is going to be about editing bracketed photos. And what I mean by that is the same image with different exposures. And before we get into the editing program, we'll talk about how to set up your camera. Uh, it really worked best to have it on a tripod so it doesn't move around at all, keep anything from shaking. Uh, another issue is with the f-stop. I'm going to go to the details. My f-stop is f11. And this one f56. And this one is like f4.5. So it's not going to work so well. As if you look at the focus on this middle image, a little bit blurry. And you go down to this one, and it's even more out of focus. That's because of the f-stop. So that's why you got to have all your f-stop the same. So the way these were shot is not going to work so good. So I'm going to go down to another example. And this one, the f-stop's the same on all three images. So this is like f-19. And we'll look down here. And even that one. Is F19. The only thing that changes the exposure time. So that's probably the best way to do it. And another thing to watch out for is, you know, a moving target. You, this isn't going to work if your subject is moving around or if you got a breeze and it's blowing the branches and leaves around. When you try to overlay all three images, uh, they're not going to line up very well. So it'd be a little difficult. You might end up with, you know, a lot of blurriness in the stuff that's moving. Okay. So, let me go to uh, my Photoshop Elements. And I've already loaded these three images. And the only thing different is the exposure. So, before I do anything, I usually address the chromatic aberrations. Whoops. Let me undo that. Get my little hand there. There. Got all that purplish color. So the way I'm going to kind of correct that, go to my effects here. I have Elements Plus, which is an add-on program for uh, uh, Photoshop Elements. And this is uh, raw correction, so I'm going to go there. Double click on that, and it's going to open up. And what I want to do is make sure I have a check mark right here and uh, remove chromatic. And that's all I want to do with this right here. So I'll go ahead and click OK and go back to my layers here. And if I was to Kind of click back and forth so you can see. Oh, a lot of that purple is gone. Let's zoom in on that. Yeah, you can kind of see that purple glow. And there I get rid of that glow. That's what I'm after. I kind of get rid of that. And so this one, sky's blown out. I'm not going to do that one. It'd be a waste of time. So let me go do this again. The effects, open up that. Won't take very long. Check marks are already there. All I got to do is hit OK. And now I've got that out of the way. It's going to make a little bit better quality image when we're all done. So the next thing I want to do is to actually combine these three and go up to enhance photo merge exposure now it's asking me uh well what images do you want me to work on and it says well you know go to photo bin well there's my photo bin button i can't open it Let me cancel that go to photo bin there's my three images okay so I want to select all three. So it told me to hold down the control button. Uh, and then, you know, I 
can go that route. So let's let's run it again. So I'll go ahead and I'll just hit open all and let it go. Okay. So we got some options here. Uh, this is an automatic tab and a manual tab. So I, I'm not going to work in manual. That is an option. And we got simple or smart. So let's start with simple. Hit done. And we'll see what happens there. Okay. Go back down to my layers here. Well, now I got four images. And the last one is the one that's blended. I'll give myself a little more room here. And it looks like did a pretty decent job. I mean, still needs a lot of work. But I'm going to go ahead and save that one. And it's in JPEG. I'll save in JPEG. And I'll just call that Simple Blend. Enter, save it, and so now that's added. Now, where is it? Simple blend. Oh, I know, I put it in the wrong place. Save as. I got to go back and find my folder. I'm in the wrong folder. Bracketed images open. All right, let's check and see if we're there. And there it is. Okay, so we got that image along with the other three there. And well, it's something to work with, but uh, we're going to do some more work. And I'm going to just X that out. All right. Let's start with that one. I'm going to go like a duplicate. I'm going to go into my Luminar and see if I can lighten up that dark shadow there. So I'm going to just work in light here. And all I'm going to do is work in the shadow. I'm not going to worry about this overexposed stuff. So, brighten up the shadow, see if I can get it where I want. Uh, I don't really do anything with the blacks. Uh, let's see. Uh, do I want to change the exposure? Uh, maybe slightly. And that's all I want to do is just make it so this really dark area was starting to show up a little better. Okay, let's see what we got. Yeah, so that definitely improved the dark areas there. So let's go work on this one. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and back in, open up Luminar again. Okay, again, I'm just going to work in light here. Uh, shadows brighter. And so we can bring down the highlights all the way down. I'm going to leave the exposure right in the middle. And I, I, I won't change anything else. That's all I want to do. Let's 
So now we got ourselves a little happy medium photo right there, an image. Uh, let's go on to the darkest one. And we'll open up that one. And again, I'm just going to uh, work in light. Uh, let's see. We'll open up the shadows, uh, highlights. Exposure, and just a tab. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll try that. All right, so now I've edited three photos separately. And the next thing to do is photo merge, exposure, open all, and see what happens now. And I don't want to do the smart blend, I'm just going to go with the simple blend. And click OK. So we have that. I'm going to save that one. Make sure it's a JPEG. And no, it seems like I don't have my first one. Simple blend two. Two. All right. Okay. Go in there and see if there's any difference between those two that I blended. Well, I think I actually like the first one better. So, yeah, this one seems to be glowing a little more. Maybe got more purple, but um, yeah, tough. Oh, I shouldn't have. Oh, I saved it in TIFF. Didn't mean to. I should have saved it in JPEG. That's why it didn't show up. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of that. Don't want it anymore. I'll close all these down. I don't want them. Expert. All right. So at that point, I would just do my uh, normal editing routine. You know, I'd start off with multiply, see uh, if that can help me out at the start. Start with that, and I don't. I'm going to right click, merge visible, so it's going to merge those two layers on top into one. And I'll go ahead and duplicate that again. And now I'm going to go into my uh, Luminar, do some editing. Well, we'll start with the light. 
Uh, looks like we need a little more exposure. Highlights, it's down, shadows up. Got a lot of purple in the image now because it was so dark. Uh, we'll go down to color. Band setting, we'll start with the purple. Uh, desaturate that purple. Um, maybe not all the way. up. Okay. That helps get some more of that. I want the, the, the wood to be more like a gray, more than a purple or blue, so I can brighten that up a little bit too. Uh, we'll go with red. Yeah, we kind of brighten up that truck a little bit. I don't think I can do that, but the orange. Oh, yeah, I could really brighten up the cab now with the saturation. I don't really want to change the saturation. It'll kind of mess up the overall color. So I don't want to yellow. Let's see, that's the leaves on the trees. Yeah, we could brighten those up. Saturation. Well, that doesn't work very good to change that. Um, how about the green? Change that. Okay. And that's probably going to change some of the sky. Well, it changes the reflection in the glass there. Okay. Overall vibrance. Uh, let's see. Go down a little bit. Maybe we can. Okay. How about structure? Let's just add maybe a little bit for. Okay. AI enhance. Maybe that'll kind of saturates it a little more than I want it to. So I'm just going to do this like two. Okay. Uh, details. I sharpen it up a little. Uh, we can do a couple of details. So I could, I could spend an hour, and I usually do something like this. I would spend multiple hours working on So I'm going to stop right there, hit the Apply button. Okay, back in Elements. And I made a lot of changes, and they're going to show up. Yeah, quite a bit. So I'm going to change the opacity to see if, uh, you know, I'll mix it with the layer underneath just to see visually um, what I like best. So, is it 50? Let's go with 85. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and merge those two layers again. Duplicate. Uh, try my uh, multiply again. See if uh, that helps. Yeah, multiply usually works pretty good. Okay. So you can see what multiply just kind of makes that stand out, jump out at you even more. So I would probably do this several times. Um, but you can see that's how I work on my image. Go ahead and save that as a JPEG this time. JPEG 2. Let's change it to 3. I'll have those two side by side. Let's go. There's my 2. There's my 3. 
So let's see, it looks a little purple. So that one looks, yeah. So that, that one, you know, I got a lot of that purple out of there. I could take some more out. I think the color of the wood needs to have more purple taken out. And I would just continue to work on this for uh, quite a while. But there, it's definitely a much improved image over, you know, any of these. Uh, it's uh, taking three images, blending them, ending up with that. So anything else I need? Well, that's the basics of it. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the video right there. I could just go on for hours and days, even more than that, editing this particular photo. But uh, that is editing bracketed images.